A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Friday, December 3rd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. The first cases of a COVID-19 Omicron variant have been confirmed in New York State. So far, the five cases appear unrelated and have been confirmed through sequencing of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. One case is from Suffolk County. The other four are from New York City. The $813 million 2022 Orange County budget was approved by lawmakers on Thursday, but not before a few squabbled over whose idea it was to cut $2.5 million. Democratic Minority Leader Michael Paduk said County Executive Stephen Newhouse had no business proposing the reduction when it was up to the legislature at that point. Republican Kevin Hine says the legislators had planned on doing that. Republican Jimmy O'Donnell says it didn't matter who came up with the idea. Most of us here did not know that the county exec was going to come and speak to us before that vote. So he basically beat us to the punch and uh, made the recommendation ahead of us. But uh, at any rate, the taxpayers won. Increased sales tax revenue helped keep the tax rate down going into 2022. The 2022 Ulster County budget of $333 million was approved by the county legislature last evening, but not before lawmakers voted on 28 amendments. There was little to no explanation of each before they were voted upon. Most were approved. County Executive Patrick Ryan said afterward that the bipartisan support for a spending plan was, in his words, an overwhelming vote of confidence. He said that this is the third year in a row that the budget holds the line on taxes, bolsters mental health services, addresses the housing crisis, and provides direct financial support to small businesses. The Dutchess County Legislature approved its 2020 county budget last evening in a meeting that saw several last-minute failed attempts at amendments by Democratic lawmakers. The spending plan of more than $500 million dollars was approved with one Democrat joining the GOP majority voting in favor of it. Addressing the failed Democratic amendments, Legislature Chairman Greg Pulver reiterated his recent frustration of the lack of participation by the Democrats. If we had this uh, talk a month ago, we could probably find a lot more common ground. County Executive Mark Molinaro noted the budget includes the largest property tax decrease in county history, and eliminates the sales tax on clothing and footwear items up to $110. More news in a moment. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination, the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. If it takes a city to raise a village, Middletown may be off to a good start. Thursday, a ribbon was cut on the downtown village, a new mixed-use development with 21 loft-style apartments and three commercial spaces at 22 to 26 Montgomery Street, formerly an abandoned warehouse. We like to restore old buildings, said owner Sal Vesopoli, and while we were restoring these old buildings, we came across this property, he said. The downtown area is part of a transit-oriented district with access to a bus station, Mayor Joe DiStefano says the new apartments will continue to add to the rebirth of the city. And this is bringing people in with some money. These are high rents in this place. Um, some of these units are going for $2,500 a month, um, and they're beautiful. But it's bringing money, it's bringing people. DiStefano says the old building has been vacant for well over 30 years and was falling down. The cost of the city of removing the building would have been tremendous, he said. A 31-year-old resident of Wappingers Falls suffered severe burns to a large portion of his body after setting himself on fire 
at Warriors Park in Poughkeepsie yesterday afternoon. The unidentified man was witnessed sitting near the boat ramp where he doused himself in gasoline and lit himself on fire. A 32-year-old Catskill woman's been indicted by a Greene County grand jury on charges of murder and criminal possession of a weapon in connection with the stabbing death of a man in an apartment in the village of Catskill. It's alleged that Carrie Weiser stabbed 68-year-old Scott Myers in the neck with a knife early Saturday morning in his apartment. The knife severed the victim's carotid artery, causing him to bleed to death in a short period of time. If convicted of murder, Weiser faces up to life in prison. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.